My fellow Liberians, despite our diversity, we are united people, a great and noble people. Through the strength of our unity and the resilience of our determination, we have begun to rebuild a ravaged country and have survived two deadly health crises. Our people have stood together as one united people ready to face the future. Whether you are a fisherman of Grand Cru and Sino, the hunters of Grand Jida and River G, the farmers of Lofa and Bapolu, the Gola and Vai dancers of Bomi and Cape Mount, the hospitable people of Basa and River Sess, the warriors of Maryland, the miners and explorers of Nimba, the merchants and traders of Bong, the welcoming people of Magibi or the melting pot of Monserrado. We are one people, Liberians. We have a great challenge and opportunity ahead of us. In unity, we will rebuild this country as a shining example in Africa, demonstrating the power of a determined and united people. Our economy and our national budget will expand and grow like never before. We will improve the lives of our people and put smiles on the faces of our citizens. I promise you that together we can and will do the job. A new day is on the horizon. The time for babysitting is over. God bless you and God bless Liberia. Republic in Africa and yet we're one of the least developed countries on the continent and indeed one of the least developed countries in the world and I say to you my fellow Liberians we deserve a better Liberia we need to ask ourselves some fundamental questions. Why are we where we are? Most Liberian homes don't have electricity. Most Liberian homes don't have running water. Most Liberians are unemployed. These are things we can change. These are things we should demand of ourselves and of our leaders. We, as Liberians, cannot keep doing the same things and expect different results. We cannot keep electing and selecting the same kinds of leaders with the same kinds of experiences and expect Liberia to change. We have to do many things differently. And that starts with selecting and electing new leaders who know how to create jobs, who know how to grow the economy, who will prioritize the librarian people first before they prioritize themselves. And this is what I offer you, the librarian people. The other universal truth that I want to share with you, my fellow Liberians, is the best predictor 
of future performance and future behavior is past performance and past behavior. And again, I ask you to look at my record of job creation, of success, of managing large budgets of one penny going missing. All of these things you can look at and compare to the other candidates. And again, you will see that my past performance and past behavior is a good predictor, a good indicator that what I commit to, we will deliver. There are five priorities we have, and we call that the what. And then there are five things we call the how we'll do it. And those priorities are as follows. Our first priority is infrastructure. Simply put, it is electricity, it's roads, it's water, and it's internet and cell phone connectivity across Liberia. We have to, have to invest in infrastructure. That is the top priority. That's the basis on which we can and will do everything else. The second priority for us is job creation. There are too many unemployed, underemployed and unemployable Liberians. The unemployment rate is over 85%. And therefore job creation is our next priority, creating jobs for the Liberian people. The next priority is agriculture. We are a country that do not fear ourselves. These are things we can do for ourselves. We should be producing rice to feed ourselves. And my commitment is that by the end of my first term in office, we will be self-sufficient in rice production. And within education, we are focused on vocational training, teachers training, and adult education. But we have to educate our young people because again, that's how we can help them create jobs. That's how we can train farmers. And so these things are all linked together. And our final priority in terms of the what's is health. Because you can have good infrastructure, you can have a good job, you can feed yourself, you can have great education, but if you don't have your health, it doesn't matter. And so health is our fifth priority, and there we're focused on primary health care and preventive health care. So those are the what's we'll do for our people, for the librarian people. How are we going to do these things? The first how is we want to engage Liberians differently in the transformation of our country. We call this hearts and minds. How do we get all Liberians to participate in the changes that are required? We're going to use arts and music and culture and reconciliation and religion. All of these things we will be deliberate in using these things to engage us as a people in this transformation process. And so we're doing some work on how we can make those things happen. The next how is that we're going to find the money we have to find the resources the money to do all of the what's I, I mentioned earlier and the way we'll find the money is first we'll go after waste in government you know we spend a lot of money on things that we don't need or we pay too much for things that we do need 
So for example, I believe the vehicles we buy for our government officials, we spend too much money on that. We should reduce the number of vehicles and we should buy less expensive vehicles for our government officials. We need to reduce how much they make so we can pay teachers and civil servants and police officers and the military officers and healthcare workers, people who actually do the work, we need to pay them more money and reduce the gap between those at the top and those who actually do the work. The other way we'll find the money is going after this thing called corruption. You know, corruption has been the bane of our country. It's, is the, the primary reason why we are as underdeveloped as we are today. And we will aggressively go after corruption. The first thing we'll do is we will appoint a corruption czar, a minister in charge of corruption. In presidency that will coordinate all of the agencies that are meant to uh, find corrupt officials. Secondly thing we'll do is we'll make sure we are giving the resources, the money, the right people, the right logistics to the anti-corruption agencies, the LACC, Liberia Anti-Corruption Commission, the General Accounting uh, Office, the Public Procurement and Concession uh, Commission. We will make sure they got the right resources to go after corrupt uh, officials. After that, when we find people who are corrupt, we will prosecute them, we will put them in jail, and we'll seize the assets. It will not be good enough for you just to resign. Okay. So those are the things we will do to really go after uh, corruption. I have committed that I will not take a salary. The salary that is paid the president, I will allocate it towards helping to fight uh, corruption. That's how important I think it is to, to us. And then the other way we'll find the money is we'll make sure we're getting full value, the full money we, monies we're due from our natural resources. We'll look to exploit other natural resources so we can get the funds required to fund health care, to fund infrastructure, to create jobs, et cetera, et cetera. So finding the money is the second how. The next how is we want to create a government of inclusion. We want all, all sections of our country to be represented in the government. We want opposition political parties to be in government. Because I believe, we believe that having a government inclusion will help all of us make the right decisions. It will make sure that we're spreading the resources our country across the entire country and then the last two hows one is growing in the private sector we will focus on growing the private sector so librarians can primarily benefit from that growth no longer should Liberian business people be spectators to our economy and we want to actively support Liberianization and encourage and provide credit and other facilities to Liberian businesses so they can participate. And last but not least, we will use technology. We'll leverage technology to help us achieve our goals. So those are the what's and the how's. But let me end by leaving you again with these two universal truths. One, 
is we cannot keep doing the same things, my people, and expect different results. We cannot keep electing the same people with the same experiences and expect Liberia to change. We need to elect and select different people to lead us, to serve us, to help us manage and run our country. And the other universal truth is the best predictor of future performance and future behavior is past performance and past behavior. And on those two counts, I believe I stand head and shoulders above the other candidates expiring. Together, we will change Liberia for the benefit of all Liberians. We will transform our country. We will give us a new start, a fresh start, so that all of us can benefit from this country we love. I thank you. God bless you. God bless the Republic of Liberia. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in. Oh, yes, this is another wonderful day. The time is what? 20 minutes after. 20 minutes to 11 o'clock, 11 p.m. I was just right on the LPR TV with uh, Afonso Zion, and we had a very good show. And guys, listen, we were, we we're firing up. We're not stopping. We will not stop until... 2023 after the election let them say whatever they want to say somebody say i wonder you can sleep no i'm using your eyes i can't sleep and i your business i will get it i'm very very vestful but i will tell you mr Cummings is in high spirit mr Cummings and uh, made it clear that's what he settled for mr Cummings is a big boy he will understand it he will do what is right and mr Cummings envy no one and Mr. Cummings is a peaceful man. Mr. Cummings want to see Liberia together. Mr. Cummings is into this race because of Liberians and himself. Mr. Cummings believe that Liberia is made up of 15 counties and 16 tribes. So everybody in Liberia is important. Everyone has the right to be part of that eating bowl. He's not there to pick and choose. So what are your gil, manon, basso, pele, Cram, crew, Grobo, Loma, Bandi. That's it. But the other side. But let me say this today, guys. Listen, I think you're listening to Mr. Boaka yesterday when he gave his press conference. Uh, he named his partners. He said, and the journalist asked him again. So what about Mr. Combs? He said, Well, they are not my partners. But this is what we're talking about. Mr. Combs is not a friend of Mr. Boaka, according to Mr. Boaka. Mr. Cummings, Mr. Boaka, I want not, not to do this. We're talking about togetherness. Yes, we don't have to be in the same party, but we know exactly what's going to happen. That if they think that more they will win and they will witch hunt Mr. Cummings, trust me, they got something waiting for them. It's not going to happen. The God that we serve, Mr. Cummings is a peaceful man. We're not going to waste our time on them, but we just want to tell you this old man is a tribalistic and a divisionist. He divide people. That is what he good at. He good at it so much. He, he pretend that he's a unifier. He's not. It will be worse. It will be worse. Liberians, open your eyes. Open your eyes. They say, oh, but that job, we are your sort of b No, 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 no. We after the UP. We cannot bring UP back to power because they got no good intention. Ask them the question. If they cannot stand competition in the CPP, how they will stand it out there nationally? They can't make it. They are quitters. They can run away. They call them a runaway candidate. So UP is the runaway party. 
They cannot go for in primary, they scary. They want for nobody to challenge them. But trust me, Mr. Cummings will defeat Mr. Buaka and defeat Mr. Mr. Weir. So let them say whatever. Right now, they're running all over the place. They're looking for party to join. They're looking for other parties. Nobody going to join them because you know what? They are not trustworthy. You can't trust them because tomorrow they will snap. And they're fighting start there because you really want for Mr. Buaka to carry his daughter while Yomli too waiting to be the vice president and they're looking at other people. So right now, that a business. They're on their own. But we'll tell you that these people are all corrupt. They're sitting like a wounded lion, hungry lion, waiting to strike. They're looking. They mess up the country. Buaka UP mess up the country. So they're looking at George Weah that they will come back to finish it up. But Liberian people will not give them chance. We will not give them chance. They are not incumbent. At the time they were incumbent, they could not even defeat President Weah. We helped them. We helped them to take them to, two, to 450. But yet and still, they got nothing in store. Nothing left. Mr. Buaka, who's supposed to be the oldest politician so far in Liberia, the man with the wisdom, the so-called wisdom, he and all, he hate Mr. Cummings. Hate Mr. Cummings now with passion. But guess what? The only way Mr. Buaka can defeat Mr. Cummings by hate, unless he, Buaka, in his stomach and on his project, Mr. Cummings' money not there. Mr. Cummings sweating money. It's not on Mr. Buaka. So, you see, at the end of the day, Mr. Buaka will not make decisions. Because Mr. Buaka now listen to people. Mr. Buaka follow other people. He listen to people. And because of power greed, because of desperation, entitlement syndrome, he think that they entitled to it. After messing Liberia up, Ellen Johnson refused to give him power because he's not trustworthy. The lady that he worked for for 12 years refused to turn power over to Mr. Buaka because Mr. Buaka is a dangerous man. I will tell you, so if you think that we're running campaign for Mr. Buaka because we call Mr. Buaka me every day, you own your own, my brother. We're telling the Liberian people that you cannot trust Mr. Buaka. Mr. Buaka lie on the oath because of power. He look in Mr. Cummings' face. He said he know Mr. Cummings from nowhere. And guess what? The Solicitor General make fun out of them. He made fun out of them. That is what they were looking for. All they thought they were harming Mr. Cummings. But then do nothing. You can never touch the Son of God. You can never touch a man who has a pure heart, who believe in Matthew 5, 8. Only a man with pure heart will see God. But if you think you're entitled to it, at the time you were incumbent, you won't win. That now you will win. Put the crowd out. Let me see the crowd at Unity Party. Every day we can't hear, but they cry. Every day we can't hear. We got the masses. No, you don't have the masses. We took up the M already. You got the asses. So that is the real one you got with you. So you can go ahead and say whatever. You know the good thing I noticed? None of them ever accused Mr. Cummings. All the way they took the stand to say, oh, Cummings did this to me, did that. But you see, they are so bad and wicked. They dug the hole waiting for Mr. Cummings to come in and they fell in the hole. They were disgraced. They dragged him to court. They dragged the former vice president of the Republic of Liberia in the history of Liberia where they dragged a former vice president to court. They subpoenaed him to come and show that he's not honest and he lied. Right now, Serena Sifos telling people that he can't believe that Mr. Buaka can lie. But all that thing he was doing, he was just doing to protect Mr. Buaka. But he just wanted to tell the Liberian people that Mr. Buaka had nothing. Oh, yes, yeah, so I tell you all that it was Serena C for telling people now. But he will not say that one. So all of them, for Momo Un, Momo and friend, listen, Mr. Kom is not going to sue nobody. Mr. Kom is not going to waste a time on these people there. Momo already ain't get food to eat. He got one old pickup to go to, to that every day breaking down. That a man will can't waste our time on. They got evidence. They got evidence. You know, my people, let me tell you something. It's so shameful that on, on, amongst four political parties, three political leaders, greedy three political leaders, criminals, 
they had to go behind closed door and plan to damage an innocent man. An innocent man because he decided to run for president and try to change the way politics is run in Liberia. That's the biggest crime he committed. They all tried to go after him. But guess what? He beat them. He disgraced them. He made them to understand. Liberian people know them, Uma people. We can't bring them to power. We bring Mr. Bwaka to power. You will cry for George Weah. You bring Mr. Bwaka to power. You will cry for George Manny Weah. This election is between George Weah and Mr. Cummings. If you won't keep Mr. Weah, so, so you can go through the hardship, that's it. Or you can take Mr. Cummings for a better country, a better economy. A man who got a plan. Not the CDC who took nine months to come up with a plan. United Party, no plan. They asked the old man, but hey, in fact, sir, that not the old man alone. I just put on my post. I said, the old man do can't remember ARTS. None of his supporters who even they, 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 they say, the other guy say, what is ARTS? You know what they call arts? I say, I'll let there again. They don't have a plan. They don't know how to create jobs. They don't know what to do to create jobs. They're not telling the librarian pool what Mr. Bwaka would do different from George Weir. So don't worry. Don't be afraid. They are what they were the incumbent before, and George Weir defeated them. The librarian pool rejected United Party. United Party will not come back to power. United Party is not the alternative. No, we need change. We need someone with different ideas, new ideas. If Mr. Bwaka had an idea long time, he was going to talk to Liberian people at the time he was healthy. But right now, he got a pacemaker, the one that Joshua gave me. In fact, said Joshua said he will ask for the pacemaker set. Because Joshua, the one took his personal money and gave it to the woman and gave the woman $2,000 when he will be read. So you see that? So that's why he owed President Weah. And President Weah can't wait to challenge Bwaka. CDC afraid of Mr. Comis. They afraid of N and C P and A and C. But for UP, UP that hope of Joe. UP that hope of Joe. When you look behind Mr. Bwaka, then you scare the Liberian people because you're looking at all the corrupt guys, people who tested it before. They're young, young ones. Then they were working in the government. They stole small. But now they say, ah, look at Jefferson Koji eating. Oh, look at that other person. All of them sitting down. They said the omen we were using. Say the omen, and I, I said something. I said the omen said he believe in WhatsApp, Twitter, Facebook, and even email. No, he can't. He can't use it. Then in this dying age, in this kind of age, the omen say he got problem with WhatsApp. You see that? So that one made all the garden happy. They said then we eat from the paper. They want the paper code to sleep. We just let the, the signature will just be passing all over. They will stay until their cell will give up. Your cell will give up. The woman can't convince no party. That thing has charade. You know what's going to happen? Liberty Party, we get members there. ALP, we get ALP, there are no party. ALP got maybe roughly about 100 person in the whole, 100 members in the whole country. There are nothing. All of them right in Morovia, the people every day. Because how ALP will be supporting Mr. Bwaka? And when Mr. Bwaka show up in, in the group, they, they can be packed. They had a march the other time. They were less than 100. They went, they won a case. They went to Nima County again. They were less than 50. Eh? Whole day, the only thing they can do, Mr. Cummings that gay, Mr. Cummings that criminal, Mr. Cummings that did, that your business. It will hurt you. It will bring you. It will break you all over. It, you will, you will, Died from heart attack. So your continue. Yeah, how you're causing Mr. Cummings that how we compare Mr. Cummings to Mr. Bwaka. Mr. Bwaka, Mr. Cummings say good infrastructure. In that infrastructure, he say electricity. Mr. Bwaka got nothing on his plan for electricity. All Mr. Bwaka say roads. That's it. But Mr. Cummings got electricity. He got roads, good drinking water, bridges, security. Everything is infrastructure. But Mr. Bwaka got on the road. He said, road, 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 road. You see? He said, think Liberia, build Liberia. That's part of the story. Then Mr. Cummings talk about job creation. How will you create job? You need a government friendly, a company that friendly with government that will 
put things into place, create the avenues that company will trust the government. Mr. Waka don't have it because Mr. Waka got men and Bena Yure. Maybe Bena Yure will be one of his he, 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 he commerce minister this time around, or maybe go back to Marine Town. He don't have it. He don't have the know-how where to start from to create jobs. You know what I'm saying? But Mr. Cummings got that he said job creation. Mr. Cummings talk about agriculture. Mr. Yure talk about Mr. Baka talk about agriculture. But Mr. Cummings talk about agriculture, including agriculture, where you talk about the fisheries and you talk about other stuff. Mr. Baka only say agriculture. I'm an agriculturalist. I will buy, I will get the people fertilizer. That's all. He's not talking about mega agriculture. He's not talking about how to create money. Because if Mr. Co Mr. Boyka know how to create money in agriculture, he will come to get farms all over the country. But what he did, he opened two farms in that place. Now, Jale got him. I put on money that she raised. They land there, but nothing there. We see how you get a farm since five years. You mean, you mean, uh, 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 harvest yet? You don't harvest yet. Then Mr. Comis talk about education. Mr. Boyka don't have anything on his agenda for education. He has nothing. He has nothing on there for education. How the whole country you don't have an educational plan. Mr. Cummings told me every childhood education, teachers training. Mr. Cummings broke it down. These are the things that were lacking in Liberia. Then Mr. Cummings came to health care. And you know, that woman would never die from pregnancy to, to, to give birth anymore. We're talking about uh, 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 Family doctors, you'll be able to go to your family doctor, you'll be able to choose your own doctor. He broke everything down. You know what I'm saying? When he finished, then he said, This is how we do it. We will cut costs, we will all the waste, all the stupid money that they're taking. You giving the vibe, the president wife 1.5 million dollars. You giving this other one one. You say presidential project, all that thing will cut down. We will put a different place. We will cut salaries, and in fact. To just fight corruption because corruption brings problem to our country. So, Mr. Mr. Yuri now talking about sanitation. And in Mr. Comey's health and healthcare, you get sanitation all in there. Everything breaks down. Then you get tourism. But what Mr. Baka do understand, there is no way you can only put tourism to get us. So what are you really thinking about? What are you really thinking about? A-R-T-S, arts. And you ask him the other day, he said, what do you mean by arts? He finally forgetting memory loss. What you expect? What you expect? My people, don't be afraid. The people who support him, look, we are the flexible one. We promise to support Mr. Bwaka if Mr. Bwaka win the primary. But they couldn't answer that question. When you ask them, they can't answer. Will you support Mr. Cummings if Mr. Cummings win the primary? They said no. So we know them already. So that why God just say, you know what? Let you go through the thing here. And let them go on the business. You're on your own now. So now the competition is open. Everything is on the floor. Y'all know that Mr. Bwaka received a pickup from Mental Steel when he was vice president. Y'all know Mr. Bwaka to receive his own envelopes. He was the one that get it, that used to give the envelopes to all the senators to they when they pass the 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 the, the sixty six concession, even including B Mountain, that corrupt company. Mr. Bwaka was into it. He never one day stopped because he had everything. His children were working in the government. His son worked with, with Marintown. They all were benefiting. And in his office were strictly relatives. Were strictly relatives. So my people, Liberia are for Liberians. You can be a Loma man, or Bandi man, or Kisi man, or Pele man, or uh, 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 whosoever. You are a Liberian. But this old man, he's a tribalistic old man. He believed that he, he prepared to devour Liberia. He prepared to devour Liberia with anything, no matter what. You can tell from his action. He went against a, a, a women pay because women pay was not from Lofa County. All the things that women pay did in the past election 2017, he pushed women pay under the bus. When Ms. when Madam Sally was talking about generation change, she was not telling Mr. Boaka to remove women pay. But what he did, he brought in Ami Moda because Ami Moda that he, that he called that his nephew. He brought them in because they're from the same county. He brought all the people from Lofa County and squeezed them near him. But he pushed women pay under the bus. After everything women pay did for that party and did for Mr. Bwaka, you finish forgetting. 
Then you say you get masses. No, they don't get masses, you get asses. Because they aim gone long term. That the asses they were looking at today. They all over the place. They think Liberians are stupid people. They fooling Liberians. If the old man can follow them, if the old man can listen to Yuri, what kind of decision the old man will make for Liberia? What kind of decision? Who should the international community will pay attention? Which should the international community will pay attention? Eh? No, no, they won't be backstabbing us. They will lie and say, oh, that the government. No, no, they won't do it. I don't blame the government. When your child sell you, your husband sell you, they will not buy you. Whole day, they backstabbing Mr. Cummings because they can't stand it. You can't go against Cummings. You refuse to go. You can't even compete in the CPP. Four parties. How will you compete out there? Eh? How can you compete out there? The old man failed the Liberian people. The man failed the Liberian people. They asked him, who are your partner? Oh, Bena, Yure, and Yombli, that my partners. Your partner. Eh? They asked him again, he said, well, the names that I called, they are my partner, they're up here, they're not my friends. But he will eat that word. You see, the old man, the old man know, the old man know he will not make it. The old man, if you're, you're living in limbo, you're living in a place where I don't understand that you believe that the election is between Unity Party and, 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 and CDC. You lie. You lie. If you think that how election work, where you got four, five, six party in the country, eh? if you know that you get more, why you join the CPP? You were already there. You were already there. Eh? The librarian pool will get your blank check. The mistake they make with Joe, we had to do it to you. I beg you, yeah. You're real sleepy for truth. The librarian people will throw you away. The old man, the old man, I rather want to see him campaign. Y'all go look for money. And y'all say, y'all need money. The librarian pool will vote for you. Don't go talk to them. The librarian pool will vote for you. Yes, the librarian pool will vote for you. Yeah, wicked people. Wicked, wicked people. They're so embarrassed. They're not, they don't even have the guts to take the phone and say, Cummings, it's nothing personal. Let bargain be bargain. We are all politicians and we are all Liberians. They shame. They can't do it. They can't do it. And Mr. Cummings not even worrying about y'all. Mr. Cummings not even worrying. So, ladies and gentlemen, please, on the 20th, from the 24th to the 26th, we'll be in Atlanta, in, in uh, Chicago, Illinois, Chicago. Mr. Cummings is a guest of honor. He will be there. So you can join us there, please. If you're in our era, you can drive. You can be part of it. Be part of the entire process. And also, they will be in Florida. And that's another nice trip. And Mr. Cummings will be in Florida also. And, and, and you know, that is why the Unity Party people are afraid of ANC. Because ANC can they blank, blink their eyes and raise over 200000 the highest money United Party can raise right in America, the in America, the highest 450. 450. That's what they raise. Then they invest. Then they say the people who supported Mr. Cummings, they arrogant. They this and that. Mr. Cummings get control over them. Mr. Ubaka get control over you. In fact, that's true. You're the one that can control over Baka. You're the one can control Mr. Baka. But Mr. Cummings can't control us because we know we put our money in our mouth air. Yeah, you say ele election and money. How you think the man who drive they got to pay him? The car need gas, they need logistics, they need this, they need that. We're not paying no voters, we're not giving people money to go vote. You won't vote for Cummings fan, but the future of Liberia is in your hands, my people. Don't let them fool us again, and don't let them lie to you because I see this in a song that sedition going around and telling you, say. Oh, the opposition fail us. So, which all we have will win. Anybody who tell you that, that's sedition. They call them the We Are Wins. That the We Are Wins singing that song. Don't let them sing it because that's for nothing song. President We Are can go and pin the entire street. He can pull back in every city. I won't know how he will do it, sir. I won't know because they play on that table. Because he can go around and bring the children and do this. He failed the nation. He failed to protect the people. The good ones he did, that he continued the small road project, but he ate all the money. 
they may they may have, have more project personal project completed finished furnished than the one he's doing for Liberia. everything is about him presidential project he pulled light all the light going on all the solar panel out so they got to look for new money again because election stay right they, they you know as time <laughs> it's so funny everything they're doing that because of campaign everything this president got no clue no more plans nothing he got to do so the thing they can tap into certain resources and the library will well fall for it the 145 million that they put in the budget for him to use he will use it on your and get your five 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 dollar if you're oh, librarian people if you decide to keep joshua so be it or you can replace joshua with a better change you cannot replace joshua with the old man the old man already crying after you now mess up everything now today you cry on on on, on neck you cry on neck, but you can't cry on the chief justice. You can't cry on the justice system because the justice system is corrupt. That is why they close their eyes and they allow you to feed candidate. They're telling us now contracts and agreement is not valid in Liberia anymore than what the justice is telling us. So anybody now can break contract in Liberia. That what they're telling us that is not valid anymore. We got no respect for our justice system. And it is a shame on a man who want to be president and do not respect the justice system. He got to go and lie on the old one and also go into the Supreme Court and threaten the Supreme Court that they will disturb, they will disturb the country. And it's okay, you just let them to contest. You just kill the case. You just go ahead. Went to the place that he lied, said he signed five documents. What kind of vice president? Eh? Oh, Mr. Cummings desperate. Mr. Cummings desperate. You think you no wars. You think I want more going vacation. You're more desperate than anything. Eh? You refuse to go for consensus. You refuse to do the VPS. You refuse to go for primary. Even in your own party, you couldn't have a fake one set. Eh? Tell me now. You can't compete in CPP. That also there you will compete with be on the market door. You're just watching. Day election, when we finish with y'all, y'all will hold your hair. Y'all say, Hey, la brain both chaos this time around. When we finish with y'all, y'all will get breaking heart. You see, some of us, we prepare to stand with commies in lose or win. We prepare. But for y'all, y'all will suffer. Y'all will suffer because by the time they finish with y'all, that government job you're looking for, you will not get it. That government job you're looking for, you will not get it. Yeah. But some of us, we can be sitting there, they can't rain our face. <laughs> that government job, you're the you people looking for. You're the young, young, corrupt Liberian. Smart children that you're sitting there for the, for your, your thing, you can fool the old man. You know, I just feel sorry the way you're treating the old man, to be frank. You guys are not fair. Oh, let Mr. Cummings just go with Mr. Baka and that Mr. Cummings will benefit. Yeah, Mr. How long? Maybe Baka will not even live for two years. Or maybe Baka will go for one year. Hey, man, people, you're wicked. Oh, you're wicked. You're wicked. You're wicked. You're wicked. You're wicked. Ah. Because Mr. Baka will not live the papa. Oh. So, but me tell you, do you know why they say that a chief justice or any of the justices you resign at the age of 70. Because in Liberia, any Liberian man in Liberia, hard time, you cross 70 years or so you can't think too good again. You all say the Omeyin reach 80 years, you believe, you think the Omeyin reach 80, my people. You are telling me that the Omeyin are older than Ellen Johnson, Ellen Johnson older than Papa. And Ellen Johnson was jogging yesterday, the Omeyin can't even jog. <laughs> Omen, Ellen Johnson was jogging the other day. The woman can't even jog. Now you put the woman in public space. You put dark shades on your face. So we can't notice that he's sleeping. Eh? What are you doing so, my people? What are you doing this thing here for? Eh? You say, oh, you know, let that take it easy. Because, uh, 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 you know, the uh, uh, I was on uh, uh, um, 
eh, 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 LPR TV. The boss say, well, I'll be honest with you. Mr. Bwaka cannot win election without Mr. Cummings because Mr. 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 the UP will need Cummings support in the second round. So all in their mind that UP will be in the second round. It look to show how dumb they are. We talking about taking first place, but they already settled for second in the first round. Oh yeah, the people desperate. We fighting, Mr. Cummings struggling, fighting. Telling say I want to take first place. I want to defeat George Weir and Mr. Baker in the first round. But UP also fighting for second. They're not fighting for first. Round. You be fighting to go second to George Weir. How you be fighting to go second to George Weir? You're not thinking about defeating George Weir too? Eh? Then, but then what he said, he said, we need Mr. Cummings support in the second round. So we got to be careful. So you don't you think that Mr. Cummings will be in the second round too? Your mother, holy Bible. You got your voters sitting down in the bank. You will take them and put it in it to give it to neck. You will see something. We ourselves here, we're fighting to take first place. We're doing everything. We're fighting for first place. We ain't get no plan B. There is no plan B. The only plan B, when we take first place and we don't win the first round, that means the second round. But we're not, we're not praying to God to go second to Joshua. No. Mr. Cummings, we're doing everything to Mr. Cummings to defeat Anybody in the first round, if we get a second round, fine. But we must defeat them to send a message. That is what we're fighting for. So we're not here wasting our time. And but you you already know you're taking second. So your guy yourself second already. You remain second. We we'll papa you. Yeah. Since we're on the track and we're doing it, you can remain second to George Weir. But we will pass by George Weir. So by the time we pass by George Weir, you will go to ten. Your Yeri Salomon say, sit down there, be fighting. You will take second place. Yeah, you you want to take second place. You already know you second. But what are we fighting for? We fighting to defeat President. We are in the first round. So if there's a second round, we will be in it. So by the time we defeat President, we are UP will take third place. Oh, oh you yell at one year old. So you continue cursing Mr. Cummings. Mr. Cummings that gay. Mr. Cummings that days. Mr. Cummings that dad. That your damn business. You already second. Listen to me again. Maybe you get good. You know that you second already. For me, a fifth place. If not, in fact, pull me way down. Pull me to the last. Pull UP, Mr. Cummings, Liberty uh, uh, ALP, uh, uh, what do you put ANC. Put us last. No problem. You said, according to you, that you will take second to George Weir. George Weir will take first, and you will take second. But we wait behind. But I'm sending a message to you, and I want you to save it. So tomorrow, don't say, I'll tell you. Don't say, I'll tell you. Because only or dumb will still be sitting and telling me, say, the result you got from 2017 as an incumbent, an incumbent party, you got 450. And you telling me that 450 will follow you after you now lose election. You own your own. Yeah? You own your own. So, we will defeat President We are in the first round. So, by the time we defeat President We are automatically UP will drop down to 10. Capuch, you get it? So be talking. You already choose your set, your path. You got plan A and plan B. All you fighting for that second place. No problem. Fight for your second place, UP. Ladies and gentlemen, UP is into the second race, into, into the second spot. Uh, let me just tell you. Now they are on the track running. We see Mr. Cummings in the back. Mr. Cummings is third place, uh, fifth place right now. Mr. Cummings at the fifth place. Uh, 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 you got Brett, you got uh, 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 Prince Johnson, and you got uh, um, uh, the Liberty Party in the third place, and Prince Johnson is in the fourth place. Mr. Cummings is in the fifth place. And George Weir is striking. 
Joshua is moving behind George Mia. You see Sofet, Sofet, and, and, and JB. Joseph Newman Buaka is in the second place. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I noticed something. And uh, Mr. Cummings have just passed Prince Johnson. And uh, Mr. Cummings is in the, in, the, in the fourth place. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Cummings just did it again. Mr. Cummings just crossed over uh, 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 Unity and uh, Liberty Party. Now Mr. Cummings is in the second place. Damn. I see Mr. Coming. Why, Mr. Mr. Buaka running or he coming backward? Because Mr. Buaka jogging like somebody who reversing instead of going forward. And I see Cummings almost neck to neck. But I see the Buaka people still saying that no, Mr. Cummings not there yet. So, but Mr. it looks like Mr. Cummings is shooting for number one position. Mr. Cummings is moving right now. Oh, damn, Mr. Cummings. A lot like Mr. Buaka reversing instead of going forward. I think the Omen can make it because the age problem, the Omen can't make it anymore. I see the you people still cheering, but the cheering so slow, slow. They're cheering coming down. But when I let me ask my friend, a lot like UP just settle for second or so down. You notice something, Mr. Cummings trying to take first place. So if Mr. Cummings take first place, look like UP gonna go back to third place. Hey, my niece, wow, you're happy, oh my people. Mm. We ain't got no plan. Let me tell you, Rachel. We will defeat President Weir in the first round. You can cost me in your dreams. No, I'm not dreaming. I'm up. My eyes are open. I'm not dreaming. We will defeat President Weir in the first round. This election is between Mr. Cummings. Mr. Cummings is the number one challenger. For you, you're still living in limbo. You're living in a planet. You know, like brain people, they predict. All the prediction is so bad. You were incumbent. You have 450,000 votes. Now you're not incumbent. You're telling me. You don't go nowhere. You don't get money to run election. You don't get money. Then you say, like brain people, just vote. they will just go in the street. And you don't go to the people in Maryland, how they will vote for you. And you go to the people in the ad part of Nimba County, how they will vote for you. And you go to Grand Jury, you will get vote. No, they're not doing it that, my people. Because we will go to Grand Jury and tell the person, oh, make can war again. So they will say, ain't get money. Now, you look, I can't wait for the next fight in the with Mr. Baka and his VP. Imagine, is Baka Yure Tike or Baka Yombli Tike? Niswa. Jesus Christ. Ria, we don't for true. You like keep Joe. Yeah, yeah. You like keep Josh. We are not yet to come. And I'm fooling nobody. They will not vote for us. Commies go against Mr. Buaka and Mr. Commies and Mr. Mr. We are. The Buaka supporter will not vote for Mr. Commies. They will not vote for Mr. Cummings. Just imagine. How do you know? If these people could sit in the CPP and tell you that Mr. Baka got to be the chairman, if Mr. Baka not a stand-up bearer, then we'll forget it. Let's break up. Then Mr. Cummings go against George Weir, then they will vote. No. They will not. So I can tell anybody for free my vote will not go to Mr. Buaka. My people are telling you today. We will not. We will vote a call. You know what? I'm not doing it because I want to hide their feelings. No. I'm doing it because they are corrupt. They will do worse than George Weir. That is where the two evil will play. They stand that George Weir will win the two, the two evil. The lesser evil will go to George Weir. I'm telling you, between George Weir and Joseph Buaka, the two evil, they will choose the lesser evil, and the lesser evil will be President Weir. But why you say so, Mooney? Because President, we already know President Weir corrupt. We already did not see plenty. So they will be on the queue, they will be trying to act nice. But for this UP, we look at the hungry lion then. Why we should allow the hungry lion then to cast star over to eat? No. No. 
we cannot allow them to come back and eat. They ate already. They mess up their own. We're trying to fix it. We bring the commies, man. Commies willing to fix it. Commies said this is the agenda. Some of them, they don't hear. You know, librarian used to hear. You know. Librarian people don't used to know agenda. All librarian people know is for the candidate to just talk to you. They know all the things that they used to it. So the politician now, they accept thing that the politician, the other men sort of be like them. But because they can't defeat the man intellectually on any kind of line, they saying that, that man just come here. That man ain't get nothing. That man corrupt. That man went and spoiled the CPP. Y'all will not see that song. We can't lie to see that song. Anybody that lie to see that song, they will give with it. We will not allow you to play that song. Y'all spoil the CPP. Y'all tired now. Y'all go. They post y'all can go. They say y'all can go. Y'all disappointed us. No problem. Mr. Cummings were there with his honest mind, thinking that he could work with y'all. The librarian post said, Mr. Cummings, don't do it. Mr. Cummings, don't do it. Mr. Cummings said, listen, we are Liberians. We can work together. Mr. Cummings, don't do it. At the end of the day, y'all prove the people right. Then y'all want John, y'all want to open another alliance. And the alliance won't open. Y'all want Alec George. We are calling NPP. Y'all got money. Y'all got money. You got vote. You think that Lofa County will depend on again? Because the only play you win. You put election between George We and, and, and Mr. Buaka and Mr. Comis. Mr. Comis will defeat you. I can tell you today. Look, people ain't gonna go in the street. We know United Party, they're good at propaganda. They know how to lie. But the librarian people know them. So guess what? I don't mind them. They see where they're watching. They say we're talking nonsense. That they see where we can hear them talking nonsense. They see where they say they're in Liberia. And they just, some of them will get on Facebook and say, yeah, you in America there. You don't want happening here. That's your business. That's your business. The real people. The people who will vote you out. The people who will tell you, say, you know the new song in like, bro? They won't tell you. Yeah, the papi. Anyway, the papi too old now, man. You know the papi are going to be a good problem. The papi, oh, the papi can't think again. The papi messing up. The papi can forget. The papi can have one hour interview with nobody. The papi can have interview. Yeah. The papi will not have no interview. The papi just giving press conference. Just war up. They say, I'm going to respect your elder. Don't ask him questions. <laughs> Even John, we ask him can sing. The papi can do nothing. The papi just sitting there. Hey, my people. Look, I love the old man, but the people that are around the old man, me are scared. You not see the lion when you're hungry, you can see the riff. Oh, yeah. They just waiting. By the time they say Joseph Waka pressed them, they go in fight over the position. Oh, yeah. Jake, Jake, Jake Kamakoli. Minister of State, Chief of Staff to the President. I say all of them are divided, John. My own friend, he said he will be mayor. Uh, Victor Kaiser, mayor for Morovia. I said, don't do it, my brother. That in an election. He said, no, they will vote for him. Then you got uh, 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 Pedro. Pedro said, will mean foreign minister. Eh, damn it. <laughs> or they were saying to information. Then you get Mo Ali. More are the Lebanese that 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 the Arab men and he left business. They will make commerce minister, or they will send him back to finance ministry or some something else. Then more uh, 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 Ami Moda that the businessman will make minister of commerce. They feel the the position. They bought an auntie, everything. They just sitting there waiting. Then they got up with Bangari code there. All the people there, minister of justice, deputy minister, and all kinds of things. I look at the guy and I see the guy and get dropped out. They got to get draft face after they now spoil the country. They turn it over to George Weir. Ellie Johnson look at the papi and say, my, son, my, my brother, we're talking about generation change. Lead the team, can't say that. The papi said, no. I'm a second to be president too. Labrempo like owe him. CPP will never organize for him. Three years, the old man said that he was not sort of run for president. We'll go low all the corrupt garden put together. Say, I, mean, I think we can work with him. We can work with commies. Commies too difficult. Commies, how you what you do because commies got his own money. Commies will not take bribe from nobody. Commies will not do nothing. Librarian people, 
let me tell you yeah we just got the information the papi is on number one super uh, uh, pretender he got who can receive the money from him the papi can pretend we will tell your things about the ambulance and all we will let you know the ambulance the fire truck how it happened and the the ambulance that people talk to liberia to help in fact who helped them joel howard taylor because the woman were requesting for certain things yeah so we know what i want there mentor steve when they get a pickup the woman guy want to pick up too imagine if they can give all the law maker one one pickup what do you think they get a president if our president you think are free your tea free no if they can get it publicly they gave them one pickup each what do you think they get a prize president any president yeah that man get the government get over two million dollars and in Liberia, in other america when they allocate two million dollars for your office it ain't mean that they get the money cash that means you got your project they would you know little by little if you don't use it it go back in the budget but when they say two million dollar cash that money is for you to use the woman one time the woman had almost 400 million uh, uh, four million dollar on, on 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 domestic travel she had to go around Morovia, and guess what? That mopi they will swap the money. Yeah. Today you go to the papi house, they selling ice. You all know they selling ice to the former vice president house. People go there to buy as we know all the one they will come and start taking pictures and selling out. Yeah. They selling ice. You all ask yourself the question: Why Lufa ruin fix? You won't tell me that the old man couldn't convince. Ellen Johnson to fix the road. Eh? You won't tell me that. You know the party is so desperate. Instead of going for A, they go for B. They're fighting. They say they don't want to go in the second place already. But guess what? We the one fighting for first place. In the first round, we won't take number one. So if we take number one, you're going to go down to three. Oh, ah, because you're already put number. Two, so we are in front. All to, wait, let me ask you something. Even if Liberian people don't want George Weir, that UP will bring back to power, my people, let me ask you. Liberian people, let me ask you. The UP, look around Mr. Bwaka. Look at the people who desperate, they are desperate more than Bwaka itself. Mr. Bwaka already promised Yuri. He now promised Yombly. For your own, look at a tag team. He used nobody for UP. He used none of y'all. Eh? By the time you get money, you call the old man. When you blast at the old man, say, Oh, the other person cost me, or you call that person too and cost them too. Eh? The old man answered great people had a press conference. Y'all listen to the old man, he's a real divider in chief. He's the real, real divider in chief. We are opponent. We're not enemies. We don't hate you. Y'all will be surprised if Mr. Cummings is president of Liberia. Y'all will see real unity. Mr. Cummings is not going to waste his time on, on you. Trust me. They are afraid. Their boss, they shrink in already. Mr. Cummings will not waste his precious time to go take Yuri to court or to carry Momo or carry whoever to court. We settle for it and that's it. Now, Liberian politics, we will change it. We will change the narrative. We will change the way business is done. The justice system will work. You're already broke. Why, Mr. Cummings, should care you to court for 20 million now? Yeah. I know some people don't really want more happy, but please. We don't do the waste our time on them. Let them go with it. When they say let go, they buy lock. But one thing we will tell the Liberian people how you lie. We will tell the Liberian people how you lie. Oh yeah. The woman lie on the hood. The only thing I left. If I know if Mr. Cummings go against George Weir, we're expecting it. 
the woman will come out and endorse George Weir. Look, my people, unless it ain't happening, that hatred is there. That hatred is there. The man made it clear that Mr. Cummings is not his friend. But guess what? You know the God that we serve? <laughs> Every one of them, they ate money from Cummings. Every one of them politically, Cummings helped them. When he had a foundation, Cummings helped him. So let them do whatsoever. We expected it, Mr. Buaka. We expecting you will come out and endorse Mr. Weir against Mr. Buaka, Mr. Cummings. But the Liberian people won't tell you. Mr. Buaka is pretending. Pretending that he pays off and this and that. He strike a deal with the government to collect money. He strike a deal. But they didn't give him the money. They didn't give it to him. The deal they strike was for them to give him the chance to contest. Joshua will push that woman around. Yeah. The only person that can defeat Joshua that this guy. This guy. This guy. That the only guy that can defeat Joshua. The Labyrinth will close their eye and make the eye will be open. Even President We are Weapon all will vote against him. Or you must say Joe, we are said will vote against himself. Oh, yes. But that what they're afraid of. So when you hear CDC saying, oh, he your bring, your bring Alice coming, you are giving all free ride. A little, my people, a little. The CPP gone, but we use the name CPP for us. We own it. We use the name CPP. We own it. Yeah. So, my people, y'all have a good day. Huh? We we'll continue the talking. We we'll try. We we'll tell the people what Mr. Cummings can do. We got two candidates ahead of us. Tom, this election is about UP and CDC. For now, we going after every one of them that are behind us, that are in front of us. Every one of them, we're not going to be silent on them. If they wanted to be in peace, they were going to say, low down. Yeah. So we're not just going to allow them to have a free ride. What the woman say he got to do again? A-R-T-S. Agriculture, road, tourism, sanitation. That all for whole country. No electricity, no good drinking water, no bridges, no development, no education, no health. So when it, how you create job? You can tell us how you create job. How you change your school system in library? You can tell us. Because anyway, you never see it before too. So you're confused when Mr. Cummings telling you. Yeah. Anyway, guys, y'all have a good day. I'm tired. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me see somebody hear us. Their, 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 their statement. <laughs> uh, Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Orita Zina. Rebecca. <laughs> we try to be. Yep. Good evening to everyone. Your thanks for coming up. I appreciate you highly, strongly. With everything. Yeah. With everything.
Everybody doing it, man. Everybody. Everybody. We will do it together. Yeah. Everybody doing it. We will. Don't let them fool you. Don't let them scare you. Don't let them say whatever they want to say. Yeah. Every one of them corrupt. Imagine how they're sitting back. Imagine how they're waiting. You saw the swimming pool? You all saw the swimming pool at the park there? The swimming pool stopped the children right to the ankle. I know that dog supposed to be in there. That the one the president went to go dedicate a game of people. Oh, the guy less busy. Ah! The president less busy. The president said the guy swimming pool. The pool stopped the pool right to the ankle. Then he said, Y'all make sure we get life guard. Look, they will get life guard. And let the train dress good. Uh, uh, that thing not for BP people though. I thought the thing was for Doc. I thought that Doc sort of playing that thing though. He opened a pump for Doc. <laughs> ah, brother, we are getting drafted, man. Ah, we are getting drafted. Oh. <laughs> Morris. He said, you wasting water on dog back, on your back. Comments will never be present in your mother holy Baba or holy Quran in Liberia. That damn midget, oh, midget, is a finger. You see how you rude? You see how you rude? You come on my life now and you start cussing. You start cussing. There's nothing we'll get from out of here. You supporting Bwaka, you only get one plan for Bwaka. So I don't know why you waste your time. You will watch me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So just continue to stay. You got nothing in you to talk. How will you tell me about a corrupt JMB who was vice president for 12 years, very corrupt, $2 million every year in his office, and he said he broke today. $2 million every year. For office operation, two million dollars. He spent twelve years. That twenty-four million dollar plus his all his small small lady and his chopping and everything on his side. He's still selling ice. He's selling ice to the Liberian people, the poor, poor, poor Liberian people in the era. He couldn't get one person light. Eh? He's selling ice there today. Then you say, Mr. Cummings, that correct? That the only thing you're fighting for, Mr. Cummings, finger document. He finger all of your two because you're dummy. They ain't get sense. Your brain I tend to poo poo. Mr. Cummings will teach your lesson. You even know what you're supporting him for, sir? You know what you're supporting uh, 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 Mr. Parker for? Or because you're from the same county? You're from the same county, that one? My man, look for that, bro. Mm. Since Mr. Bwaka opened his farm, we see nothing for what that four years now. In fact, the man left the office before he opened farm with my people. After he left, after 12 years, he opened one farm. That time he go open. You're not see one little tomato from that farm. Eh? Mr. Bwaka said he got foundation. They can they can show up one student against scholarship too. For 12 years. 12 good years. We even know. 12 years, then you won't compare yourself with commies. Hmm? Imagine you're a criminal, the old man can sleep. You know what's going to happen? The paper will, I think the judge going to get the paper signature, the, his stamp, the signature that stamp. Yeah. Ah, you hear that call? Hmm. Oh, yeah, he will be coming there too. Trust me, everywhere Mr. Kami go, will go in there. Yes, you'll be to that uh, 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 ANC 
Global Midwest Dinner. It will be held in Chicago. The, uh, uh, guests of honor, Alexander B. Cummings, Standard Bearer, President of the Republic of Liberia. You like it, go kill yourself. You like it, Jacko Lantan. You know, the other person is your pa money, Ketty. One of guys said on the Zion show, he said, Mr. Cummings also to join Mr. Bwaka because Mr. Cummings got the money and Mr. Cummings and Mr. Bwaka got the, the people. What people he got? And we can even see there the other that I tell you about 80% were in there. Oh, Jesus. You know, they left all the people then to Tradefco Bank and Tradefco Bank closed down. That pretty city got a vote. This election is between Alexander Cummings and George Weir. Change. We either keep George Weir or we keep Alexander Cummings. Finish. You see, like, you know. The LeBron Paul said a thing long time. They say, hey, they men, they men, Jack Camille. But they men are the best men. They men, Jessica, they men are the best men. So they know. They're not black guy. You won't fool yourself. You won't fool yourself. The LeBron Paul know. <laughs> that nonsense, what they are on Facebook. You can be calling from Liberia. Hey, you're in America there. This, this, this. People here watching me from Liberia. But I'm worried. Oh, day we can't hear. Eh? Oh, day. Just sit down there, you lie on the oath. Just to, just because of power, you're lying. And Serena Stephens abandon your two. Eh? Mo Ali will in court, stay on stage. That the first time they say what he did, never object. He said every time he will go to the phone. They put not do the ruling. He left Mo Ali on the stage and came outside to say, Listen, there's nothing against Mr. Cummings, man. I tell they got an attire lying too. And I check all oh, oh, I can find one evidence. Who oh, did they come in lie and just helping them? But the time they say he said, Objection. Stop saying objection. Objection. The man to the man said, I just I just help Mr. Boaka. I just want to let La Brempo know that Mr. Boaka can lie. What? You know, Serena Sifa will not say it publicly, but he told his friends. He said, Listen, I just wanted to show you that Mr. Bwaka not correct. He's and guess what? Hey, that place CDC, CDC just praying to God to go against the omen to tell the librarian people say, But well, you saw the omen in the code there lying that the man will come be out to then I tell the librarian at the time they will be telling the librarian say, At least I understand coming not in you know maybe okay, let me get let me get let me get the other way. If Comis is not against, is Comis not going against George Weir in the second round? Guess what CDC will be doing? CDC is a winner. Even if that Comis against us, we understand. But you can't bring Mr. Boaka, who just yesterday were lying against Mr. Comis, the man lie on the oath. That the man you won't replace, you won't replace us with. You see, right there, everything changed. You. Everything changed right there. Because CDC said no, that when Mr. Cummings go against George Weir, the Liberian people will change. The Liberian people will close their eyes and say, this is it. The only people who know will vote against Mr. Cummings will be Mr. Bwaka people. And at the time, they will know that Mr. Bwaka too not correct because Mr. Bwaka will come also and say, I, I support George Weir. At the time, they will know for true the women, the women going. No, we all will get old. But I don't want to be in that situation and still won't run for power. You get pacemaker. George, we are the one that pay for the pacemaker. If George, we are getting very generous and he want a pacemaker, you do it to him. <laughs> if George, we are getting very generous and say, Mr. Boga, I need my pacemaker. And I can't be in that position and won't go into politics because that thing has stress. When you get pissed, make you not sort of be stressful. You not sort of you just sort of relax. Nothing sort of trickle you. Ben, are you in a corral? 
You don't believe that just because they say the woman get pissed, make her they won't go as VP. Then when the woman sleeping, they'll go take out the small little battery that on the pacemaker. Because this time they can get used on a tablet, they can kill it, it can just shut the battery off. Don't trust them, oh Papi, I'm telling you. All the people then, they got where to go. They're going to George Weir. Mo Ali going to George Weir. Henry Costa going to George Weir. Every one of them, they not eat money from the people. They just pretending. They just waiting. Because they know that Mr. Bwaka would not go in the second round. They know that Mr. Bwaka would not get in the second round. They can see it for themselves. Because it's not easy for them to look for alliance. The, the other alliance, again, the people say, worry, say, hey, God, how can we join these people here? They're scared. So they can't even find good alliance already. So they worry. So most of them, they already finished really preparing to support Mr. Then after they support when Mr. We are winning again, John, we are will kick them to the curb because they are traitors. You don't trust them. People who jump from political party to political party and whatsoever, and when they come there, they start discussing. A lot of people don't trust them. You cannot. You can't trust them. You can't trust them. Yeah. So all that thing you always say. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I love when they get it. Me that kind of comment. Mr. Cummings is the next president of Liberia. <clears throat> yeah, my Vina. Alex is the. Let me see my, my song. Yeah. Let me. I forget me. In Liberia today, the comments we want to. In Liberia today, the comments we want to. Come November, come 2023, comments will win the election to go to the executive mansion to be our president. Oh, comments, yeah, the man who we want for our president. Hey, comments, oh, comments, yeah, the man who we want to for our president. Infrastructure, a the commissary, the man where we want to for our president. Job creation, a the commissary, the man where we want to for our president. Education, a the commissary, the man where we want to for our president. Job uh, agriculture, a the commissary. That man where we want to for our president in Liberia today. That comments we want to in Liberia today. That comments we want to come 2023. Comments will win the election to go to the executive mansion to be our leader. Oh, comments, yeah. That man who we want for our president. A hey, comments, a hey, comments, hey. for transparency. That comments. Law and order that comes to fight corruption to the teeth that comes to put the people of Liberia first that comes. We saw the politician will put Liberia people first. All of them broke. They won't build the houses. For George, we are on. He ain't got to build house again. He not finished building everything. So he telling you, you're pretty giving the last more time so I can just do what I can do. Well, I will not be my horse again. I finished stealing already. You think like brain post stupid? They will stay steal. No, road and road. Once they start stealing, they're not doing business. They will continue to steal our money. Josh, Manny, we are president, Republic, 25th president of Republic of Liberia. Thank you very much for serving your country. You will remain in the in the, in the book of record. You will remain there. You did some good stuff. You put a park that was never in Liberia. You did some good stuff. I will, I will be honest. You did good stuff. But the most important thing that you failed to do was to protect the people. To provide lights. I'm not talking about gasoline price expensive. But you failed to protect the people. You failed to provide them with electricity. You failed to provide them good education. Every day I can hear, they say, President, we are sent 26 doctors Abroad, we can't see their names. Though. We can't see their names. This 26 that's what they said. Oh, President, we are building 20, 120 schools. We can't see the school there that they say that they play. 
Instead of them fixing the one they got, they won't build their own. They put the building, they ain't get nothing to put in the building. Eh? People go to hospital, they never they don't subsidize a clinic and hospital in like and private clinics anymore. So people don't have money to go to hospital. Oh, President, we are uh, 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 put a dollar separate. Do you know why, President, we are put a dollar set in there? You know why? Okay. They are business. So, we know all that thing there. UP, the JMB, UP. They bought them sitting back like oh, angry lion. Go watch the animal planet and look at the lions. Look at the lions, the lioness, and see when they're hungry. You can see the rip. Oh, 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 they can be like this. The children fed because the way they see Jefferson eating, Maggie eating, they can't wait. Jake Kabakoli can't wait. Mo Ali, they can't wait. Eh, Mehira Costa can't wait. Damn it. They can't wait to eat. We can't do it. My people, we got two options. I will say it. We either keep George Weir or we carry Mr. Cummings. We keep George Weir, that means you prepare to suffer. Then, I'd rather you prepare to suffer than to bring UP who going to start a fresh eating? Because if you keep President Weir, the eating will be there, but they will be scared now. They will be thinking what to do next. And you know, they will want to change their ways, but they finish stealing plenty. But if you want a good country that your children will not waste another six years, you yourself will not waste another six years. Then when it comes to Mr. Cummings and Mr. George Weir, then we got to choose Mr. Cummings for a better library. So the library book, the, the international community can laugh at us. If you're sitting down there, you're carrying either one of them, the UP or the CDC, the whole world will laugh at us. Because America will not do business with us because Mr. Buaka got Yuri. They will just be giving up petty change the same way. Mr. Yuri will not go to America. America don't joke. America is not a country for you to joke with. We already are beggar. Then you won't act tough. Eh? Let the America send our foreign minister to and George. We are still challenging America and keeping the foreign minister there. They say the man tried to rip somebody in America or like bring woman. And then I won't pursue you. But our president said a lie. They still got the man there. Yeah. Still got the man there. Why will Rex our country for one man? Yeah. They declare our personal no grata. First time America expelled a Liberian diplomat. It never happened before. It never happened before. Why? Come on, then. They hate Mr. Cummings. They ain't got nothing to offer. All they will talk. Cost. Cost. Cossing, cossing, Mr. Cummings are this, are your business. Good. Mr. Boaka, who can make own decision? He got to listen to Yure. He said that Yure made him to go to court. The woman said Yure made him to go to court. Oh, yeah, the woman is selfish. The woman, <laughs> you didn't do that all. That woman, that woman can, can uh, uh, hold things up. 
as if the God that we serve and our real God. Big bear. Thank you, man. Thanks to everyone. Thanks. I almost finishing with the comments. I just like to look at the comments and see some of the nonsense that they listen, my people. We're not here to fat in frog. We're not here to shut our mouth and say we will allow. Oh, we will only be talking to John We are and forget about JMB a big yeah, yeah. You think we come here to go to, to, to you slap this side, you slap this side. And you know that song they say uh, 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 when he didn't say uh, 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 can I can I can't Rogers yet. Sometimes you have to fight, you don't have to fight to be your man, but sometimes you must fight to be your man. Yeah. Damn it. For the the guy wrote JB, 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 JB. <laughs> yeah, well, that's one that's small so ah uh, I go look I get I taking it to one of my men. You will put sound behind it. We'll put a sound behind it. A better country, ABC. A better economy, ABC. Nobody know it like ABC. I bought a perfect my people, the poor girl. No, no, a, a, a picture if I show you something here. That boy, that boy, that, 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 that dog. Who this? In a he? Just the leg here. Eh? <laughs> ah, I swear to God. That you, my people. People daughter. Ah. <laughs> uh, the men are porn star. <laughs> okay, guys. I always try to come on after 10 o'clock. I like it because sometimes I get pulled from Liberia. But I come out whenever I have the time. But I try to do it after 10 o'clock. I was coming on early today when, when Zion called me to join the show. It's resonating, my people. You're not overlooking. It's resonating. We'll fight it. We'll fight it. Okay, guys. You're listening to good speeches. You're listening to a leader. A leader who encouraged his people. They're not a leader who defy the nation. You'll be worse than Joshua. You're not listening to Mr. Comis here. My fellow Liberians, despite our diversity, we are a united people, a great and noble people. Through the strength of our unity and the resilience of our determination, we have begun to rebuild a ravaged country and have survived two deadly health crises. Our people have stood together as one united people, ready to face the future. Whether you are a fisherman of Grand Cru and Sino, the hunters of Grand Jida and River G, the farmers of Lofa and Bapolu, the Gola and Vai dancers of Bomi and Cape Mount, the hospitable people of Basa and River Sess, the warriors of Maryland, the miners and explorers of Nimma, the merchants and traders of Bong, the welcoming people of Magibi, or the melting pot of Monserrado. We are one people. Liberians. We have a great challenge and opportunity ahead of us. In unity, 
We will rebuild this country as a shining example in Africa, demonstrating the power of a determined and united people. Our economy and our national budget will expand and grow like never before. We will improve the lives of our people and put smiles on the faces of our citizens. I promise you that together we can and will do the job. A new day is on the horizon. The time for babysitting is over. God bless you and God bless Liberia. Yay. The hand leader speaker. You will not hear that one from Joshua. You will not hear that one from Mr. Boaka. You will not hear from none of them. They will just talk about the trash. So, guys, you have a good day and God bless you. I'm going to leave you with the comments. I know you all watched that one already, so let me just put it up there. Bye.